everyone in this video we will understand about the concept of steady state stability of an induction motor so this concept of steady state stability has been developed to easily evaluate the st stability of an equilibrium point from the steady state speed torque characteristics of an induction motor as well as its load connected okay and this is very important because it avoids the heavy differential equations involved which is valid for the transient operation of the drive so let's together study what is the concept of steady state what do you mean by the operating point what is equilibrium speed of the drive and when the system is stable and when the system is unstable okay when the motor is operating under steady state at that time the motor torque is equals to the load torque so motor torque is tm which is equals to the load torque okay so whenever tm is equals to tl that time the equilibrium speed of the motor has is obtained okay so when tm is equals to tl the equilibrium speed is obtained and what is the dynamic equation of an indu induction motor it is tm minus tl is equals to j d omega by dt where tm is the motor torque tl is the load torque j is the moment of inertia and d omega by dt is the change in speed okay now when this term is equals to zero when the speed is on the equilibrium point or the equilibrium speed has been obtained that time tm minus tl is equals to zero it means tm is equals to tl so this state is called as a steady state okay so the motor should operate on the steady state region only now let's say due to any disturbance the speed may increase or it has decreased so when there is some disturbance is there so speed has changed so d omega by dt is not equals to 0 it can increase or it can decrease so at that time the motor torque is also not equals to the load torque okay so when the motor torque is not equals to the load torque that time we have to examine whether the motor is operating un under stable condition or it is operating under unstable condition okay so let's say there is some disturbance so the motor is back to its equilibrium point so when the motor is back to its equilibrium point after some disturbance at that point it is called as a stable operation all right now when the motor is continuously the speed of motor is continuously increasing it is not coming back to its uh, equilibrium point or the original operating point and the or if the motor speed is continuously decreasing so operation is not restoring to the uh, stable point that time it is called as the unstable operation of motor okay so which is the favorable one the motor should operate on the stable region only if any disturbance occurs in the drive so the operating point should come back to its equilibrium point that time the motor is operating under stable condition or otherwise it is under unstable condition so this all is decided based on the speed torque characteristics of the motor as well as the load so it is very important to know the speed torque characteristics of motor and load because which type of load is going to connect to the which type of motor so this decision is based on the speed torque characteristics of motor as well as the load okay let's take a very simple example of a ball let's see there is some disturbance this ball is originally at some point let's say point number a 
so any disturbance has occurred so the ball speed is increasing and it is decreasing and it is coming back to its original position or the operation is restored to the original equilibrium point okay so at that time we will require the dynamic equation that is tm minus tl is equals to j d omega by dt so due to any disturbance this d omega by dt is not equals to zero so there is a difference between tm and tl all right so what will happen see in this equation if there is some disturbance so d omega by dt is not equals to zero so the this omega may increase or it may decrease so let's take one by one both the cases let's take the omega has increased or the speed has increased so what will happen the when the omega will increase means the load torque tl becomes greater than tm so this value tl has become greater than the motor torque okay so this term tm minus tl will become negative because tl is greater than tm so this is negative now when tm minus tl is negative at that time the motor will de accelerate okay now motor will de accelerate and since tl is greater than tm so it will come back to its original position a okay the speed has increased and the motor will de accelerate means the speed will decrease so it will restore its position to point number a okay so when the speed or the omega has changed and the motor is deaccelerating and coming back to its original point so that time it is a stable operation okay now in the next case let's say the omega has decreased so when the omega or the speed has decreased that time the load torque becomes less than motor torque so tm is less than tl so at that time this quantity will be positive tm minus tl is positive so j d omega by dt will also be positive so the motor will accelerate okay now see what happened the speed has decreased and the motor is accelerating so when the motor will accelerate so it will again restore its position at point number a it will again come back to its original equilibrium point so this case is called as a stable operating region okay so whenever we study about the speed torque characteristics of load as well as for the motor so these conditions should match okay when uh, speed has increased so motor should de accelerate and come back to its original position and in the second case when the tl is less than tm so the motor should accelerate and it should come back to the original equilibrium point so that time the system is called as a stable operating system okay now next let's see if the omega has increased see this equation tm minus tl is equals to j d omega by dt now when omega has increased if this has increased so if the motor is also accelerating when the due to any disturbance the omega has increased and the motor is again accelerating so what will happen it will never come back to its original equilibrium point and system will become unstable okay and second case let's say when the omega has decreased this has decreased and motor is uh, continuously de accelerating so due to disturbance the omega has reduced or decreased and the motor speed motor is also de accelerating now both are de accelerating so it will never come back to its original equilibrium point so that time the system is called as the unstable system okay so when the motor speed or c the omega has increased so tm is greater than tl and the system is accelerating and in the second case when the speed has decreased 
so the motor torque becomes less than the uh, load torque so the speed will motor will deaccelerate so this type of condition is called as unstable condition okay so when the motor and load characteristics are not matching the system is going into unstable condition so the that load is not suitable to the motor understood now let's see let's understand this with the help of characteristics we will consider two points point number a and point number b and we will decide which system is stable and which system is unstable this is a very important topic for all the competitive exams like gate exam okay so in the in those exams you will get these types of curve and you have to decide which system is stable and which system is unstable okay now see due to disturbance there are three conditions when the motor is coming back to its equilibrium that time the system is stable and the when the motor is not coming back to its equilibrium point that is the speed is continuously increasing or it is decreasing so the system is unstable this you have to remember all right so one by one we will see first point equilibrium point number a now see at this point number a you have to remember the dynamic equation tm minus tl is equals to j d omega by dt see at point number a so we have omega 0 what is omega 0 it is the equilibrium speed of the motor now let's say due to any disturbance the speed has changed it can decrease or it can increase so let's consider the speed has increased to some value omega 1 the speed has increased so at that point what is the value of motor torque and the load torque so at that top point this is tl and this point is tm so let's take it to the y axis y axis is showing torque so this point is tl and this point is tm we can see that the tl is greater than tm so what happened the omega has increased okay omega has increased that time tl becomes greater than tm okay now see in this dynamic equation when tl is greater than tm what is happening this quantity tm minus tl has become negative because tl is greater than tm now when tl becomes greater than tl it is negative means this is also negative and the motor will what will happen it will deaccelerate the motor will the motor will deaccelerate okay so when the speed has increased the motor is deaccelerating and it is coming back to the original equilibrium speed okay so this is the stable point all right now let's say the speed has decreased speed has decreased and it is coming to the decrease speed let's say omega 2 so at that point what is the value of load torque and motor torque so this is tl this is the curve for tl so this point will be tl and this is the curve for tm so this is tm what is happening in this case see tm is greater than tl so when the speed has decreased that time tm is greater than tl so when the tm is greater than tl means this quantity has become positive and the motor will accelerate at that point so both the conditions are favorable when the due to disturbance omega has increased so motor is deaccelerating and due to disturbance if the speed has decreased that time motor is accelerating okay means it is coming back to its original equilibrium speed so this type of system is called as a stable system okay this type of a system is called as a stable system so induction motor and the load which is connected so they are 
made for each other you can say the load and motor are suitable so that load can be connected to the motor because the system is stable okay so this is the need for the steady state stability and the speed talk characteristics all right so this point number a is the stable point understood this point now let's consider next point number b at that point now we will see again we will see the equation what is tm minus tl dynamic equation is j d omega by dt now again we will consider two cases when the speed has increased and the speed has decreased what will happen see when the speed is increasing means let's say it has come to the different speed omega 1 so at that point what is the value of tm and tl so this is tm this is the curve for tm and second one this is the curve for tl what is happening the motor torque is greater than the load torque so tm is greater than tl now see in this equation tm is greater than tl means this is positive when the this is positive when this is positive what will happen the motor will accelerate okay the motor will accelerate now see due to dis disturbance omega has already increased and motor is also accelerating means the system is not coming back to its original position the system is not coming back to its original position understood this point it means this is the unstable system okay now next we'll consider let's say the speed has decreased and it has come to the some other speed let's say omega 2 so what will be the value of motor torque and load torque so this is for tm so this point will be tm and this is point for tl so this is tl so in this case see tl is greater than tm when the speed has decreased so tl is greater than tm when the load torque becomes greater than motor torque what will happen this quantity will be negative and the motor will deaccelerate see due to disturbance the speed has decreased and the motor is also deaccelerating means it is not coming back to its original position so this is not desirable so therefore this point number b is what it is unstable point it is unstable point and that motor and the load they are not suitable for each other understood this so point number b is the unstable point all right now let's conclude the stable point means the change in load torque tl is greater than the change in motor torque tl is greater than tm in case of increase in state speed when omega due to disturbance the omega has increased and when change in load torque tl is smaller than the change in motor torque in case of decrease in speed when omega decreases so at that case we will say that the system is stable okay hope you understood the steady state stability of an induction motor. Thank you.